Whenever I've attended conference, my very, very first time, I remember very specifically, there was a person, as I was looking, sat at the very far right, right, hand, right hand side, and they were so knowledgeable, and they just seemed to know everything, and every now and again, they would walk up to the podium and just spout something really clever and important. And that person that's with us now, who's sitting at that right hand part of the podium is the lovely Joanne Anderton. Hello. Hello, Jenny. So explain to me, who are you and what do you do? Well, I have a very, very long job title. It's called Conference Officer for Legal and Constitutional Practice. And the subtitle is Convener of the Law and Polity Committee. So it's actually really long. We shorten it to COLCP, but even then that's, that's quite, a quite a lot. <laughs> so basically I'm the, I'm the lawyer in the connectional team. Oh. So my role is to uh, oversee our constitutional practice and discipline. So one of my big jobs is that I actually edit CPD. So I'm supposed to know this inside out. So we have had some laughs at this year's conference about people sleeping with CPD under their pillow. I am one of those people. So this year, for this conference, I've been marking up every resolution that we pass that has amendments to standing orders that the conference has accepted. I now need to mark those all up in the CPD that we will be editing over the summer and it will, the new edition will be published on the 1st of September. So that's a real core part of my job. I love it. So when I get my new copy of CPD, I'm going to think, oh, yes, the person who made this happen. Yes, absolutely. So I follow a long line of people who've done this. Um, David Gamble, uh, Susan Howdell, John Hicks, Brian Beck, quite a lot of the big names, Brian. big names in Methodism. So I feel quite humbled to be doing this. Actually. It's incredible. Yes. What are yeah. some of the challenges of this job? <sighs> There's so much to take in and so many strands to pull together. So one of the things I also do is advise the Secretary of the Conference on things like the voting. So you'll have seen again at the conference this year, um, we've got the representative from, from the Law and Policy Committee, Elizabeth Ovi, she leaps to her feet, but sometimes she has to come and talk to me and we have a discussion while the conference is in progress and then a conversation with Jonathan just to make sure that we've got our procedures right. Because if there's any procedural motions, they can cause quite a lot of um, disruption to the conference business. What's one of the joys? Oh, I just love it. And I you really can tell, love you it. Can tell. <laughs> um, and I think God's given me this wonderful gift. A long time ago, I never thought that I would be a solicitor. I always wanted to go into accountancy. So I did a law degree with accountancy and expecting to go into accountancy. And the only reason I chose law, because it was one fewer year to qualification. <laughs> Accountancy was seven years, solicitor was six. So, you know, and I didn't realise at the time the Holy Spirit was guiding me into this uh, because actually it's followed me all the way through my life. And I've worked at TMCP for a while and now I find myself in the connectional team doing this really quite important and actually very scary role. But it's fun because you get to meet a lot of exciting I people love, across the connection. Absolutely, and I love the networking aspect of it. I love meeting people, and I know so many people through Methodism. My father was a Methodist minister as well. My mother's been, um, she's been uh, involved with Methodist women in Britain um, for quite a long time, and my sister goes to the Methodist School of Fellowship, so we, we actually know quite a lot of people. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you for your time today. I know you're very busy during conference. Thank you so much. And thank you for everything that you do in making the Second Bible happen. Thank you. Thank you.